what is this video about? What I sacrificed for Lent. You can say it's 40 days, but in reality I'd say it's 39 days. I sacrificed five food, mostly desserts. Number one, boba. My husband and I love buying boba, especially for me. It is the taro milk tea and share tea. On Easter Sunday, we did buy boba. I survived. Second, cake. I'm not really a, I want cake every single day or every single week, but my husband introduced me to Red Ribbon's Sun's Revolve. Ever since I tasted that cake, oh man, I can like eat a slice of that. Actually, I can eat a whole lot more, but I just need to control myself. Every time we buy that, I eat a slice and treat that as my reward for the day. I just love that cake. Third one, chips. I do eat popcorn though. I mean, you can say that that is considered chips, but I didn't. <laughs> it's just me tricking myself to eat something salty, especially when I'm craving for something salty, which is a lot of time. So yeah, I did ditch chips. I wouldn't say 100% because sometimes when my husband buys a new type of chips, he makes me try them. For the most part, I did not eat chips. Fourth one, chocolate. Ooh, goodness. Before I thought of starting this challenge for 40 days of not eating the things I love, which is mostly sweets, my husband got me a bucket, a bucket of Maltesers. And I was so happy when I found out that Costco has that because it's not normal in the US to have Maltesers. So when we saw that in Costco, my eyes lit up and of course my husband knew it and he's like, we're gonna get it. The serving size for that Maltesers of a bucket is 19, 19 small chocolate. Dude, before Ash Wednesday, I was munching that. And there was even a time that I was eating 19. I love that chocolate. And other than that, I didn't eat any type of chocolate for whole 39 or 40 days. The fifth one is ice cream. Before, when we just got here to the Bay Area, it was one of our reward every night to eat ice cream. And then we stopped because we realized, I think we've been indulging too much. It wasn't that hard at the beginning, but then later on, my husband always says to me, come on, let's go to Menchie's and get frozen yogurt. And I'm like, is that considered ice cream? I don't know, maybe for some people it is. Am I, am I gonna be cheating if I do eat frozen yogurt? But I did not eat frozen yogurt. Thing is, one time, my husband was so busy at work, I had to buy us lunch. And I thought, oh, okay, let's get some dessert. Let's get halo halo. It's called, I think, mixed fixed in English. And when I was going home, I'm like, shoot, there's ice cream on this. It's not like I'm not gonna eat it or not gonna mix it up. So I did, and I ate that ice cream in halo halo. All in all, I think that's the only cheating that I did. I did not do any measurements whatsoever on my body because first and foremost, I do not want to lose weight. I want to gain lean muscles. The reason that I did this challenge is just to see how I can control myself again in times like this, especially it's Lent season. I did a few challenges a couple of years ago, like no rice, no eggs, but I think I didn't last that long with the egg part. I didn't see much of a difference after depriving myself of the things I love as a reward to myself. There was even a time where I think I'm losing some of the muscles that I kinda gained on the few months that my husband and I was going to the gym early in the morning. Hello! Happy Monday! I am driving to get back home after we work out. This coronavirus that's been going on pretty much worldwide compared to others, Bay Area is kind of a bad area. Because of that, the gym that we go to, which is Anytime Fitness, it's 24-7, is closing at this moment, exactly 1900 of March 16th. My husband and I usually work out in the morning, and then after that we go home, we go to work, but Monday, Mondays are always a drag. So it's another Monday where I was motivated to get up earlier, but my husband's like, no, let's sleep in, let's just do it later. But because of his work, he's always busy, 
we couldn't make it today and now I get to go home and give him the bad news regarding the ongoing outbreak which yeah, makes our gym closes right now so it's gonna be hard again to find a routine from home because we're already used to doing early workouts and now another struggle to be used to but of course safety first so I don't know it's gonna be hard it's gonna be harder for those who are infected so stay safe everyone sup of my no makeup face literally after working out oh and for the first time ever I got dizzy in the gym after 40 minutes I got dizzy I had to literally stop and I went to the bathroom and just like breathe because it was pretty scary because I don't know I don't know what to do and I don't want to like pass out in front of everyone and the reason for that is because when I got there it was about 1802 and then they told me hey we're gonna close at 1900 and I'm like oh shit okay I have an hour let's go and that's what I did. I did push myself. I did five exercises. I'm on the sixth one. Those five exercises are three sets. Most of them are 20 reps. I think I kind of pushed too hard when I was inside of the gym. After that 40 minutes, when I was really feeling it, I decided to like, okay, I think that's enough. I'm on my sixth exercise anyway. I decided to breathe in the bathroom for a little while. I hope I'm okay. I hope my husband and I find another routine. I hope people will find a cure to this virus as soon as possible. I can't do anything about that just because it's an unfortunate times for everyone because of this quarantine. So I can't really be too hard on myself that I can't go to the gym and use the machines. I've accepted that fact and I keep working out. So don't think that I'm depriving myself of these goodies, but I also work out at home. While on this challenge of mine, I also did the Chloe Ting two weeks shred challenge. After 13 days of doing it, I realized I was doing it all wrong. <laughs> I was not doing the whole complete set. I was thinking of doing the 14 day that you do every day, but then I don't want to do that to myself. So I thought, okay, I'll just do Monday to Friday for three weeks, a total of 15 days, and I'll just rest Saturday, Sunday. Because if I don't rest, then I'm gonna be burnt out, I'm gonna hate working out, which I don't want to happen. Well, after the 13 days, I was like, okay, two more days and I'm gonna finish the challenge. And I'm like, hmm, I don't see any difference whatsoever. And then I watched some of the YouTube channels and they're like, oh, there are a couple of exercises that I did, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so I went to her site, chloeting.com, if I'm not mistaken, and saw that the challenge has like two to three exercises every single day, not only the two weeks shred challenge. I feel so stupid. Here's proof of that. I thought the two weeks shred challenge is only one video. I did not know that you were supposed to go to the website and look at all the videos each day that you need to do in order to complete the challenge. I finished 13 days already of doing two videos every day because like I said, I only thought there's only one video that you need to do every single day for 14 days and I thought, hmm, why not, why not make it a little bit more challenging and I add another video. I was wrong. What I learned about this challenge is just that I don't know why I deprive myself of all the sweets that I love eating with my husband. But then again, it's Lent season, so I have to do something. Sure, you can call it a diet whatsoever, but really, like I said, I don't want to lose weight. And I kept working out, so it's not like I was starving whatsoever. Oh, and additional, if you want to try this, I quit kind of quit social media. I didn't do Instagram and Facebook, but I still do YouTube and started a Twitch channel, which I'm so bad at, but I'm just, I just enjoy playing. Don't get me wrong, once in a while my husband will like show me like a meme or a certain person's news whatsoever. It's like, oh, look at this. That's, at that point, then I will see Instagram or Facebook. So five foods, two social media apps. That's what I sacrificed for Lent season in 2020. Stay safe, everyone.